Hi again, guys. Love at Scout One again. Um, I thought I would, as promised, <coughs> excuse me, do this re re real quick review of the Hello Odal. Um, for those of you that have been following me, this was on my um, uh, intro screen, um, and <laughs> it's a beautiful little thing. I I'm sure you agree. <clears throat> Again, another Hella Hella uh, classic. Uh, this one's been around for quite a few years. Curly birch handle stacked with leather and reindeer antler. Um, very comfortable in the hand. I was a bit disappointed actually when I first saw it. I was expecting a really really big knife, but it's not. Uh, the blade is not four inches. I wouldn't have thought. Um, an excellent knife for carving. An excellent knife for making feather sticks with. Um, it's quite a pretty thing, and as you noticed from my my Egan, which I showed you on a previous video, that was all battered and beaten up. This one I've not used very much at all. Um, it's sort of one that I've kept in my collection. Most knives I buy to use, um, some don't get used as much as others. Some are coveted and looked at and only brought out on special occasions. Um, this one I bought to use. Um, I've used it for making feather sticks. I've used it for carving a small spoon, a couple of little Cusker cups, which we'll go on to in another video. Um, and I, I like it. I saw it at a game fair uh, quite a few years ago when I first when I first became aware of the Hella Mark, uh, but didn't get to hold it then. Didn't get to look at one until about 12 months later, um, and I put my money down. You know, I had to have it. Um, same again, same laminated steel, same carbon core, same uh, stainless steel outer for the edge retention and for the uh, longevity of the blade like we discussed previously. Um, love it, really nice to look at as I'm sure you can see. It, it's quite a pretty thing, even if you'd made that yourself you'd be suited with it. Finished well, warm in the hand, um, an excellent knife for a junior or somebody who's coming up into bushcraft. The only peeve that I've got <coughs> is the scabbard. Don't get me wrong, that is a wet form scabbard, um, the, the leather is good, uh, one of the best things about Hellas sheaths is the smell of the leather, the leather is absolutely fantastic, um, it's good quality, it's wet formed well, it's stitched really well, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but it's stitched really well, it's obviously been machine stitched, but to a very high standard, the stainless steel rivets are good, um, and it grips the sheath really really well. The knife grips the sheath really, really well. Good friction fit, doesn't come out. Um, it just looks a bit, a bit weedy and a bit feeble. Um, to me, it needs a sheath like a proper Scandinavian bushcraft knife sheath, which holds the, holds it together like that. This sheath is a um, off a bushcraft knife made by A. Wright, which we'll go on to later, uh, and I tend to keep this knife in this sheath, not for any other reason that I just I don't like knives digging in me in my side when I'm sitting down. Yeah you can you can sort that out with the dropper but that's just something else to make noise when I'm out stalking. So um it, it kind of stays in there uh, and I think that this this is a compromise as well which I'll 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 discuss another peeve with uh, with the Airwright's uh, scabbard. Um the only reason I changed it and the thing that I disliked about this was the first couple of times that I I put this knife into the sheath I took a big slice out of it you can't really see it but I thought if I did that and missed it or stuck the knife in the scabbard uh, not a right you, you know not paying a great deal of attention I could I could do myself some damage and if I'm out stalking you know five six miles away from home maybe with a couple of beasts in the bag uh, and a rifle to carry it then I'm going to be in some trouble so looked out for another scabbard um, and this is the one that, that it, it ends up in. Kinda stays in the stocking bag. Um, it's a really nice piece of kit. I really like it. Um, again, can't say anything bad about it. Um, these though are about 90 quid now. Um, if you shop around, I think you could probably get one cheaper than that. But uh, it, it is it is a, a a good chunk of money for what it is. But if you're a collector collectors as, as I'm sure you're aware if you're a collector of anything uh, will pay to have the things that they they like most and covet most so um, there's not really a great deal to say um, I, I did look at a video the other day about why we collect knives I mean why do we collect anything I collect shotgun cartridges I collect you know military badges all kinds of stuff empty empty shell cases it's just one of those things it's the thing that gives you that bit of pleasure so anyway uh, Heller Rodel, um 
they're, they're out there. You can probably get one sub 90 quid if you look around. Um, please be aware of the sheath. It's very, very good. It's very good, but uh, for out and about, I'd get something a bit, a bit stronger and a bit sturdier. Right, guys, another video under the belt. I, I hope that's, I hope that's okay for you. If you like what you're seeing, please uh, give me a, give me a shout. And uh, if there's anything else you can uh, think that um, I'm doing right, doing wrong, please give me some feedback. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I keep promising we're going to get some guns out. I've got a shotgun out there. I've got a rifle out there to do a, uh, to do a, a quick video on for you. I'm going to talk a bit about uh, about rifle cartridges um, and their effects. Uh, in, an, in another video which I'm going to set up on the table um, and then we'll get the stalking rifles out. Alright guys, thanks very much for your time. You have a great evening. Bye bye.